When we apply the band, it doesn't uh, injure the bird or hurt the bird in any way. Uh, we're already at about 1,400 birds for the season. Typically, it takes us about mid-September to get to that point. Every day, half an hour before dawn, the hard workers and volunteers at Vassal Lake Bird Observatory are out in the trails and the marshes looking for migratory birds, hoping to catch, band, and track them. This year, they have been overwhelmed by the numbers, more than triple the amount they normally expect for August. We're catching a lot of young birds that were born this year, um, so we know for sure they had a really, good, a really good year with their breeding season here at this site and probably in the Okanagan in general. Fourteen special nets get deployed every morning from August 1st to October 15th. So they're made of a very fine black mesh that the birds can't see. So a bird will fly, it'll, fall, it'll hit the net and fall into this little pocket. The nets are checked every 30 minutes for six hours each morning. Birds get measured, checked for age, recorded, fitted with a custom band, and released just a few minutes before they're back in the wild. Then we can learn about their site fidelity, so if they're coming back to the same site over and over, um, the timing of the, their visit every year, if it's changing. This year has already set records for numbers and diversity. And we're actually very close to beating the record that we set last year for most willow fillet catchers ever banded in one season. So we only need, I think, three or four more. The project can be an indicator of the overall health of the ecosystem. There are so many factors involved and we know something's happening, we don't really know exactly why. So that's, you know, there's always more research that's required to kind of figure that out. The public can check out the program for themselves at an open house on September 22nd. For Castanet News at Vassal Lake, I'm Chelsea Powery.